Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where the Saber Donkeys are gonna think, that, at least they think they're gonna do something to us. Drop their yayo. Dropped another um, frag grenade right there, too. You can see it right there in the corner. Yeah, that's gonna do some damage. They've gotten through two layers out of three. They're going after the Muffalo <laughs> and Isabel. <laughs> they want to come into the base this way. They have a lot of doors to go through. I, I intentionally made it a pretty substantial obstacle to head in this way. Now they got grenades, they don't really care. But I got to thinking, you know, Gnarly's up here kind of, you know, peek out the door there to say, yoo -hoo! But what if he walked over here and just opened it and ran? That's an idea. Just kind of open up the back door and invite them in. Then we have the gauntlet with our new steel traps we haven't tested yet. I want to see what those things can do. Hmm. Putting him in this door to shoot is a, is a, is a death sentence. By the time he goes through the timer, warm and cool, to use his assault rifle, somebody here is going to have to take several shots at him, and we'll have a down gnarly waiting for a grenade to go at it. But if we open the door, they won't grenade it. They'll just walk through. Or they'll continue to grenade it, and they'll go through down here, and they'll bang on this door for a long time. They'll go through, and they'll bang on this door for a long time. <laughs> I've gone through. Everybody did a roll call, and most everyone is on their way to... Let's do it this way. On their way either to, to this area or up into one of these sets of doors. There, there. Even the, me uh, the melee brute squad, I've got them heading for here to decide if they're going to run into here and take somebody down, or if they're going to go through here and take somebody down, or if they're going to go through here and take somebody down, depending on which direction these guys are going to go. So that's kind of the plan. Um, anything else? Everyone's grabbing meals right now. They're all in the process of, of mealing up. They, they hit at just the right time. We're 5 in the morning, even, even Oath Knight got himself a good a good rest <laughs> he just needs a meal and he's on his way so he's not going to miss the battle this time um he's heading for the, the the meeting the rendezvous point over here to be sent off in different directions as they need to or everyone's piling into here i don't know which or everyone's just going to stand in a in a huddle back over here and let the turrets do their job we'll have to wait and see how this is going to go the only one who's not assigned is faith and I don't really have a job for her at the moment. Don't know what to do with someone that, uh, Faith, you're sleeping somewhere. Where are you? There you are. So someone that is incapable of violence. How best to use someone like that during a battle? I mean, using her for the, right there, the Psychic Insanity Lance, that was great. I'm glad that it allowed her to. It's frustrating that she can shoot this thing, but can't shoot this thing would love to use her there but um i mean she's not actually you know hitting somebody with it but i get it. yeah i i get it okay so i don't know what else to do with her other than uh, you know catch her wandering through here saying hi to them while she's trying to plant right there which uh which is kind of fun when it happens so well, we'll, we'll see how that goes but gnarly you are first do i let you go peek out here or do I walk over here and hold the door open and have you go there on your way to there? Now, on your way, yeah, um, reset, go here, on your way to here. I can have you out there. Maybe a few of these guys that are coming this way can head out there too. So we have more options, more doors to pop out of and say hi and then pop back in. Kind of like that. So kind of like weasels or meerkats, you know, popping, popping out, saying hi and diving back in. <laughs> anyway, um, get me here. She's our new Lilith. Remember Lilith last time? She hid herself inside of here where we couldn't get to her and just kept throwing grenades and blowing things up. Well, Kimmy's surrounded herself now so that nobody could hit her without hitting them instead. They're her, her bodyguards. I think she's actually the leader, not uh, not boss here. Um, who was the boss? Um, do we have any description on him? Why is he a boss? He's a gang boss. Ah, So, boss, to survive, 
boss's gang often had to rob interstellar traders for food and supplies. Sometimes he had to kill the guards. Sometimes he had to kill the police who arrived to stop him. After years of this, he became one of the most wanted criminals in the local stellar empire. <laughs> he's boss. Okay, he's, he's dead. So, yep. Our highly accurate mortar launchers here took him out. What are the odds? Anyway, mortars, 25 seconds and 22 seconds and 11. So Billy's the next shot. He's heading for Kimmy, which means he's going to hit right over here or over there. Actually, we're more accurate this time than I ever dreamed. So we've done a lot of damage with them. That's, that's good. It'd be kind of nice just to, you know, wipe them out enough to where they just walk off the map. And then we can get into our, our trip and get out of here. But we'll see. So gnarly... I think you're up as long uh, uh, as well as Billy's uh, mortar coming in. So let's watch and see how this works. Let's see who wanders this way before you get to that door. Because I'm really worried about the time it takes to wait for the door to open, go through a timer, and then walk back and down again. That spooks me. And here comes Th Thibodeau. Thibodeau? Thibodeau. I'll go with Thibodeau. Yeah, well, he's... Oh, hello. He's thinking about it. He's wandering, and so is Vass, with his bolt-action rifle, and knows how to use it. Thibodeau, you know how to use it, too. And Lynx, oh, you're scary. The three of you know how to use it. That's who Gnarly's going against. Okay, they're distracted. They're not looking. This is not going to take much more, 47%. So anybody heading up in our direction yet of the crowd down here? No, we're all just kind of thinking about, you know waffles and, and pancakes and, and uh, maple syrup right now. So now, boom, 19%. Next one goes through, and Gnarly's up. Do that. Turn. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're getting all excited over here. Someone threw a grenade, and dark eye here. He's not uh, He's not too bright. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> I won't make a comment about the, uh, the minigun. Anyway, <laughs> we're in. The door's open. They have two choices now. What are they going to choose? Are they in the process of recalculating? Kimmy went where? Kimmy's here. Kimmy's on her way to merely attacking marble. Not a marble wall, but marble. She's heading for here. That's my guess. Or here. Too deep, too deep, and too deep. No, that's one, two, three. One, two, three deep. One, two, three. One, two. So there. Yeah, I would say she's going there. Let's see if that's true. But we're through here now. So Kimmy's going in. And she is... Oh, here it comes. Here comes Billy shot. Oh! Well, I've got to say, Billy, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'd say he's getting the hang of, of shooting the mortar. You nailed her. Wow, I've never seen a shot that accurate from a mortar cannon. Impressive. <laughs> you changed her mind. <laughs> Reset her. Yep, yep, she's she's going to bleed all over our uh, all over our field there. Wow, that was impressive. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gnarly, you are heading into place where we've got to remember to give you a meal. Everybody else, animals are up. These guys are going to leave at some point and take a whole bunch of animals with them. Um, Shantico and Handy are on their way in to back up our doors over here. That's good to see. The rest are going to kind of go through and back up these doors. All right, so let's watch this for a little bit. Well, actually, who's their next cannon going off? Um... We've got Grandma shooting in two seconds, and David is already launched. Now, you guys are going after Kimmy. Is that still good? Hmm. I mean, that was that was a one-in-a-million shot for Billy there. Are the others going to do it too, or do we take out a group? I'd say Grandma's goes for the group. It's still got a couple seconds to reset. So, Grandma, you're going into here. And I don't know if I want to reset David's because it's already 
ready to fire. It's, it's past its timer. So I'm going to leave it alone there. And that is Natalia saying hi. Doing what? She's trying to get over to get some of the of the chem fuel so she can make more rockets because I didn't realize that we needed the chem fuel here. So I reset this. We'll see if a Corazon or a Churchill can run over there and grab some and make her next rocket mortar shell much easier to build. But I guess we just wait and see what happens here. Yep, we've got a launch. Boom! David's is going for Kimmy and missed. And Grandma's is is started over again. Did I miss him? When I reset it, did you have to restart? That's what it acts like. Really? Well, I set a new target. I didn't realize it did that. I've never noticed that before. She didn't launch. Huh. Bummer. Okay. Well, now I know. Anyway, Chief Chef is heading into here. He's just wandering. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Kimmy, where did you go? You are wandering. You're all just kind of in a state of shock. That, that blast right over your head. That just kind of wiped you out. What did it do to you anyway? Health. Neck, torso, right lung, and left leg. You die in six hours. Okay. Well, let's... What is our plan now? They're, they're just kind of in a state of shock. They don't know what to do. Billy, you... So if I were to reset you, you would probably lose it. Okay. Well, I'll just leave you guys the way it is. Dave is still going after Kimmy. Grandma is going after somebody else in the middle of the crowd anyway. And let's let Billy launch. Gnarly, let's get a meal on you. Right there. Gear, why don't you consume? Yeah. Eat your fine meal because you are getting low. I'm going to use you for quite a while yet. Nobody else is in position yet, though. I think some are definitely on their way. Yeah, so the crowd's right here on their way. The crowd's over here on their way, coming out of this dining room. And slowly but surely, we're going to get our, our team together. All right, so Gnarly's the only one that's actually out there yet. We should have a launch coming out of Billy here real soon. You're right there. And boom, there it goes. Missed. Okay, so... Uh, uh, we'll say that first lucky shot was was a lucky shot. <laughs> now the mortars are acting like they're supposed to. All right, how much more time do I want before I start positioning people? Let's grab this group right here. So Thomas Lava put you there, not knowing that they were already going to be here or not. I'm going to put you there now. Alicia, we're going to put you there. Kaya, out. Bliss, out. Sangria, where? Sangria, you're there. Let's get a couple over in this area, in this corner. And I think that is enough for the... Mo <laughs> I didn't count on Gnarly going to find a table. I thought he would eat right where I left him. Okay, well, um, Gnarly, I guess when you're done, you're going there. Okay, we'll shoot down the link with you. And otherwise, we got folks heading into these doors over here. Handy's almost there. Shantigo and Michael are heading over there. And Klaus, you're on your way with a sniper to get in position over here. I didn't want to put you in in case you shot through them before I realized that you were even ready to shoot. So you're going to hang back behind a door yet. Um, Diamond, you're heading in this direction. You can grab the other position, which would be right here. Okay. Alright, there's that crowd going out. These guys are all wandering they still don't know what they're doing oh they're they're actually moving they have they have a goal now they have a goal oh wasn't planning on that goal okay handy you're there shantigo you're all the way out you're here now can't put you actually in the doorways yet michael you're in a good spot i need to know where these guys are heading bliss no kit kit you don't know how to shoot mishi you do, you've got enough there to get a lucky shot. But, yeah, darn, we got here just at the wrong time. Was that a launch? Yep, that was a launch. It was a boom. Where are you going? You're a David launch. You are going after Kimmy. Right there. Who has 
regained her her uh, her sense of of, of uh... oh will you look at that David pulled it off too wow we're getting good we're getting good folks we are so David and Billy managed to bullseye Kimmy Kimmy is gone I thought where'd you go is there not a Kimmy in here I thought she was in this group. Is she underneath? Wait a minute here. There you are. You're down underneath there. Okay. So, Kimmy's gone. And what was the, the, the noise? Are they fleeing? I just I remember now hearing a noise. I didn't look up for a pop-up. You are... They're fleeing. It's over. Just like that, it's over. Hmm. Grandma, at the risk of resetting you... 28 seconds. That's twice I've not seen her. Oh, it's launched already. It's right there. Okay. Okay, well, let's see where it goes. Okay. Well, boy, she would have nailed Kimmy, too. Another bullseye right there. There's not much we can do here. Nobody is close enough to do any good except for right here. Ah, out. Out. And the three of you race up to... Race up to here. We'll do that. And I think by the time you get there, these guys will no longer be shooting in that direction. I could be entirely wrong here, but... But I'm... Yeah, Handy's already out of range. Yeah, okay. So you guys also race up to here. Let's just see what you can do. Otherwise, the rest are on their way. And do we still have any... Wigglers. We do have some wigglers here. Okay. Sure. Well, we'll, we'll try. Any any uh, drugged out wigglers? Let's see here. Health. Yeah. Alcohol addiction. Small. I, that may be functional for us. Not you. Nine hours, 11 hours, and two hours. And, okay, so that's the nine. The two hours is a guaranteed loss for us. So I think we're going to have to let... Uh, let Wedge, no, let uh, Benny go. Uh, two hours left. We'll never get you to a hospital bed in time. Yeah, you'll, you'll die in our custody. But otherwise, these guys are running like crazy. And I want you guys to get go high. Go all the way up to there. And we'll see what that does for us. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, Billy. Um, Billy, thank you. Um, let's, let's, let's stop here. Let's, um clear you guys no 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 <laughs> grandma consuming a fine meal sure billy you're consuming a fine meal and david um why don't you repair granite wall yeah that'd be that'd be great <sighs> oh man who's gonna die here sorry rabbit really sorry chantigo ah oh, missed us whoo good shot <laughs> lockhart you're doomed and you guys pop into there. And who's down here? Just Rabbit. You go there too. And see if you can not hit a boomalope. We'll teach them to come and raid us. And Trade Caravan is leaving. And that is the end. Okay. You guys stand down. And Michael Shantigo Rabbit. Rabbit, why don't you bring in, actually, Cathra, you can bring in, who am I thinking of here? Wedge. Capture Wedge, because Wedge still has nine hours. And is there a handy up in here? You are. You're the faster runner. Can you bring in Tipido for me, who still has left ten hours? And where to? I mean, theoretically, this is where they belong. But this is faster. It is. Let's do that. Let's do that. That is now a quick little hospital medical ward. I think so. And just because these guys have got time limits on them. Oops, not you. You. Because of the time limits, that'll get them in here and get treated. Then we can transfer them to the real medical ward over here. For the for prisoners okay i like that better 
So that was that was a quick little uh, little war there. Let's let's do that and that. And then we'll we can diagonal into there and there. And then we'll come back and we'll do one of these here afterward. Okay, so that's there. Um, let's release everybody. Let's can I double click and kind of do it that way? Green. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And was that truly everybody? Grandma, Billy. Who else could I have missed? Faith is down there. Um, I think that is everybody over in this area. We're all wandering. Okay. Oh, Vass, you're down too. So Vass, what, who are you? What have you got? Three hours left to go. Can't risk you. Sorry, guy. But we will take your gun. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So they're there. And let you guys go. And reset all of those. Capturing that one handy capturing that one and it's just the one over here Benny and again 1.3 hours Vass two hours and that is it we did not hit a boom lobe. we did not repairs are going on and let's zoom out grab these guys unforbid them let's turn on this one oh the parade look at the animals following okay Good luck, guys. Good luck finding kibble on the way home. Um, let's turn this guy on. Right there. Does he need power? Pause. I need someone who's close and nearby. Cleaning dirt. Why don't you come and do this one for me? And Alicia will set you to haul. Because you love hauling bodies. Right there. And plank cut down. Okay. You'll do that. So let's just get you assigned right now and get this done. Alicia, you're right there. You are click, click. You are hauling Kimmy. Ah, oh, Kimmy. Okay, so that's going on. Do we have enough? Um, unforbidden. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Right through there. Yeah, Yayo. Gotta deal with Yayo. Deteriorating due to being unroofed. And Yayo there. Okay, so with that, we can get Alicia to do that first. And she will, right? We find Alicia. You are right there. You are... No, you're going for Kimmy. Oh, that's right. Crematorium. Now you're burning drugs. Let somebody else do the hauling. And you can do, actually, the crematorium. Okay. So you're mine. You are mine. Not yours, but mine. And we're good there. Sea stars. There might be something in there. And actually, we could use some more granite. Or marble. This is marble. Hmm. Where's granite? Really could use... There's granite. We've got granite coming up over here. Okay, they'll get to this area soon. All right. So with that, what are we up to now? Anybody look like they're just standing around because I've left them drafted, forgotten? No. Now we do have... Pause. Have we made it? They hauled them down here. They did. Okay, that didn't work. I thought that would be closer. And maybe it had to do with the second that I gave the command, it calculated it, rather than once they picked them up and then calculated it. So I may have had to tell them to, to do it all over again. Okay, in that case, let's take you back to no prisoner, and we'll just leave that like it is. That's interesting. I had Klaus haul a bunch of herbals over here. I guess someone decided to haul it somewhere else afterward. Hmm. Okay, then I need... Um, I need a Thomas or a Natalia. You're too far away. Who else would that be for medical? George was one. You're down here. Good. Draft. Get over to here. And I need an Oath Knight. You're medical. You're too far away too. All right. Look through medical. Doctor. So, Thomas love George, Oath Knight, Natalia, Cyprian. Cyprian. Where you at? You're in this area. Good, you're here. You draft and head over to here too. You guys come on over and we will most likely release these guys. Character, um, decent shooting, mining, that's about it. And then Wedge, you are a, a really smart nudist who's quite nimble and knows how to medicine and intellect and craft 
and grow. Not looking for any new characters though. I'm just debating whether to use good medicine or, or cheap medicine. Just to basically get them back on their way again. Um, I guess we'll go for the cheap stuff. So you as a prisoner are going to be herbal and you're going to be friendly chat for now and eventually release and we'll go with that. So Cathra, you are tending to wedge. Okay, you're you're a doctor too. Handy is no longer inspired. Work frenzy. Um, you're tending to wedge, but Cyprian's already here. That's what I'm thinking of. So let's have you tend to Thibodeau. Right there. And the other one was George. Whose name should be here in front of me. Right there. Let's have George do it as well. You're going to tend to wedge. Actually, turn that off and already doctoring wedge you're able to do that while you were on while you were drafted i didn't realize that okay so you guys take care of those do we have those medicines over here no nope, we still don't. i think i guess i've got this set for critical to make sure there's always um herbals over here for the the uh, uh med medical production uh-huh and i see we only have one cloth left you are set for critical so, are we really out of cloth? Missed it. Right there. Cloth one. Okay. We're really out of cloth. I see. Grandma is dead. No, she's cloud washing. Oh, good. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes you gotta wonder. Uh, we struck compact machinery and I just... Oh, hello. Here, I was thinking I'd tell Sea Stars, yeah, that's good enough. We're probably nothing in there. Nope, you just keep right on looking. You, thank you very much. Let's take out a couple more over here, too. And let's deal with the animals. So, animals and Alicia is burning medicine, or not medicine, the uh, the drug still. And it looks like she got it all. Okay. Any more? What else is over here? Um, you need to be unforbidden. And silver needs to be unforbidden. Okay. Um, no more yayo or any of the drugs around here. They didn't really go anywhere else. They didn't get any deeper except for right there. How much silver did we pull out of this? 245. Okay. Animals. Some dogs. Back to the dog zone. All the way down to there. Rest are kibbles. Um, that all looks fine. Not going to train the little labs until the big labs are, are trained. Over in here, turkeys are good. We're going for wild boars. Wild boar zone all the way down to there. And you've been trained. Okay, they're all good. Uh, Billy kits to keep below 5. Let's not make that mistake again. The sangria, you trained the calf. Good. Main pasture. Booms. Yep. Uh, boomalopes. I sold the babies, so we're down to four boomalopes again. Okay. That's, yeah, that's that's good. Just don't want to get too many boomalopes out there because you can't really, uh, uh, well, I'm glad you guys got priorities. Good, good, good. Can't um, thin the herd with boomalopes. <laughs> not not in a very, uh, very efficient manner. <laughs> um, I just saw a space there, but there's no way to put one more of these guys in be able to walk through okay otherwise what what is the plan the plan what is the plan we want to make one more run i'm gonna get a few people who have not gone before for another trip hmm how about one more good night's sleep and first thing tomorrow load up uh muffaloes and take off again which means i want to concentrate training let's think about training what else can haul what officially can haul? Let's go this way. World, generate world map, and let's pretend we're about to take off. I don't know if the dogs haul or not. I mean, they haul, but I don't know if it gives us a weight of how much they can handle. All right, we've done this before. We have a clue now, form caravan. All right, as far as hauling goes, we've got muffalos. We've got alpacas, and that's it. So the dogs don't have... The dogs are not even listed. They're not listed. Oh, they're over here. There's Neville and Rachel and Thunder, but they don't have any sense of, of carry capacity. 
Okay, so all the alpacas and all of the uh, of the muffalo. Now of the muffalo, actually alpaca three. So we got to figure what's with alpaca three. Otherwise, the two calves. All right, cancel and out of here. So animals, alpaca three. What's with you? Why are you a smaller quantity of weight? Are you younger? Alpaca three is a juvenile. Okay. Um, so cannot be trained to haul. Now, what is this? To oh, you can't be trained to haul anyway, so it doesn't matter. Same with the the calves. Nothing more I can do training wise to get you to carry more weight. You're the same as the adults. Okay, so that part doesn't matter. Right. Okay. So although I could do one more thing while I'm thinking of it, animals and Mr. Squirrel, right there is right there. Sangria, let's have you training Snookum. <laughs> when you're done, come over and train Mr. Squirrel. Right there. Let's see if we can't get that one done. Um, otherwise, let you guys run. Yeah, I think first thing tomorrow, which would be next episode for us, go ahead and set up one more caravan to take off and go find more components and get the last of our stuffs built. Like this right here. I don't know if we're actually going to use the long-range mineral scanner because it has to deal with more trips later. But at least we could see it work and uh, see how it functions. Um, I think though there was a time limit on that. It was like every 30 days it came up. Yeah, 30 days. Automatically detects precious minerals like gold or jade in the nearby areas, but not in which it was built. So it requires traveling to go get it. The lumps are found an average of once per 30 days within a radius of 30 tiles. Building more than one scanner in the same or nearby area has little to no effect. Okay, so this will eventually tell us where over here we're going to get good quantities of something within 30 tiles. That's what I'm guessing or what I'm getting out of that. Mental break risk of gnarly who got up early and saved the day for us. Kind of something like that. You are resting. Needs. Ate a good meal. You already have your plus five there. You've been insulted and you just want to go to bed. Yep. I can, I can see that. Gnarly. Why don't you, you're heading to here. Your bedroom's nice and clean. You'll be fine. All right. So what is next? Next is, I guess, getting these going. And that would be a Daniel, but he's busy hauling bodies. Hmm. Daniel, what does hauling bodies do to you? Observe corpse times two. Not too bad. Okay, I could have somebody else do that job right now. I could. I want to say it was quite just no longer capable of walking. Okay, well, we'll talk to you guys for a little bit, then we'll set you loose. I want to say it was both Radar and Bliss that were the, uh, and Tipido is the psychopaths. Bliss, yeah, that's why they get along so well. Radar and Bliss are psychopathic. <laughs> and then Natalia and one other. Who was the other? Was it George? No. Um, Cyprian, let me go backwards a little bit. Who was the other one? Right, that's uh, Radar. That's a hard word to pull out of. Eric was, okay. So let's do this. Let's set up, I wish I could click on Psychopath. Uh, Muffalo 11 going on there. Eric, you alphabetically are not here. There we are. Eric, there you are. Let's set you, boy, we got to undo a lot of stuff, don't we? No, I guess not, just the construction. Let's get you hauling. Actually, before I bother, are we, how many are left? We're actually pretty much done. Okay, let's not worry about it. I was going to get everybody reset to haul bodies in, but I'm a little late on the draw here. They're, they're already doing it. So back to construction for Eric. Okay, never mind. You guys will figure it all out. And Alicia's doing her thing. You are a smoke pop belt, 51%. Okay. You are a dead man's armor vest, 30%. Anastasia's given birth and picked up her steel and went right back to work again while Umiko and Jed are needing to be sent off to the kibble zone 
two we're in this area now right there and we got another one and frank frank's down over here okay you three go off over there and find food and play with the other puppies so other animals oh wait that's what i need to do i knew there was something more that had to be done so expand the dog area wild boar area kibble training zone can now come through here and you guys can all have access into here that's fine and let's expand the main pasture so you guys can go out and can go out and can head into here and can head into here and i didn't assign anybody to actually work on the uh on the wall and look how good a job they did wow, we've got got ourselves a good crew here now we really do i am impressed um klaus you are hauling steel to sandbags you're they're catching up on all these little jobs that have been waiting and waiting and waiting daniel's grabbing another you know how's alicia doing needs ha huh. okay you grab the last one and then you're going to call this done too and go get some food and alicia you need a chance to get a meal where are you at right now after this let's see if you'll do it on your own you're cremating and you're cremating and you are cremating let's get you a meal no you want to wear some good old power armor that uh, that just worked its way out a good helmet ah dead man's helmet but normal 66 percent it's time to take off the uh um what's it called the the toque and get the power armor on then you're going to grab a meal and then you're going to come over and do the last of this and oh because the last body's being transported that must be it okay well that was our cleanup they they came they hit us they learned their lesson and we never popped that door because we still don't have enough components to get another auto door in there don't have to put an auto door in there but it is convenient in a battle to be able to get inside that much quicker that might be enough to save your life yeah auto dooring on that perimeter uh, that needs to be open or closed. So the next person wandering through gets gets this gun. 27%. We kind of blew these things up, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of tore them up. This is probably in better shape. LMG 98%, 99% bolt action, Ambrosia sprouts. Oh, over in the other map. Yeah. Now it'd be nice to go get this this slate. Hate to make a trip for Slate. So let's bring all the alpacas next time. And all of the muffalo. And we'll get all of the components. And hopefully bring back some uh, some stones next time. I wonder what a stone weighs compared to like the steel. Didn't get a whole lot of steel on the last load. Face out here loading this up. Is there anything else that we need to be doing right now? Besides getting to bed soon. So we can get up early and, and uh, load up and get out of here. Uh, we've got plenty of pemmican. We've got plenty, 153 meals. We're good on meals now. Hmm. So I'd say we're going to bring two meals per person, two fine meals. They did eat those first last time, so there's no worry about them rotting. And then we'll do the rest in pemmican. So that worked out pretty well. What are you? You're just a chunk of granite hiding in there. I saw that darkness in the corner. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's, you know, components or something. Um, how do the components come out of here? We're good. And we've got a few more pieces of marble that can be hauled and, and used. So, otherwise, we're mining in this area next. And I see we have kind of started. Good. And... What else? Oh, yeah, we're bringing uh, marble in from off in the distance. I saw another one heading up north. Where did I see that? I thought I saw something go up as that one went down. No, I guess I saw you guys moving around. But it's nighttime. We're at about 40 minutes. You guys are heading out to get some hauling wood. Oh, we still have some wood out here. Just a little bit left. What are you going after? There we are. You're going after consuming grass. Okay, I guess that was the closest food. Interesting. 2100. So those that or do not need uh those that need joy are on their way to do so 
Otherwise, the rest are getting ready for bed. There's dog loving going on in the fridge. Ew. And Caesar is heading for bed. Daniel, or David, you're just getting up for the day. And Miss P is gonna, going to watch some, you know, play some horseshoes. And I think we're kind of ready to wrap this one up. It, it wasn't a four-episode battle this time because we got some really lucky shots. That we did. Um, David, since you're up for the night, you're all, you've already got it. Okay, Sangria, you're resting. Can you bring in the silver while you're... No place to put silver? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're going to fix that. There's always going to be a place to put silver. So, you, one more time, copy whatever you were. You're now silver. And so are you, and so are you, and so are you. Yeah, that's, that's the rich place right there. So, pause and sangria. Let's have you bring in the silver right there. The other silver's still waiting, but a pig will get that tomorrow. And hopefully somebody gets this uh, uh, LMG. But through the night, who is there? Billy, you're up for the night. You're making a large sculpture. And you've had a meal. You have. Billy, run over and grab this one for me. Not a lot of them are going to be up tonight. They're all pretty much going to be sleeping. Reserved by Wild Boar 60. Never mind. All taken care of. Yeah, well, we'll leave it at that. Hopefully it, it rains soon. Yeah. So, a new little place for a caravan packing zone or a room. So we'll do all our packing here next time. And that's probably where we're going to start next episode. Get the, I'll get them through the night and... and uh, Oh, we'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll even get the whole thing set up, so I don't have to go through the process of of, of getting the the caravan, uh, you know, all the parameters and, and decisions made. Just just get the packing begun. That might be a way to do it. Do be thinking about this room. I'm still drawing a blank on what to do here. I like the shape. I just don't really know how to divide things off without a whole bunch of interior walls. Or do we want a bunch of interior walls? Or do we just divide it all off? You know, we only need th these two pillars. So do we just divide it off by changing the color of the flooring? And call that good. Big open room concept. But I don't know. I just don't know. I'm, I'm drawing a blank here on how to make this look right. So any thoughts, let me know. Otherwise, we'll start here next time. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye, folks. Mm -hmm.